Hello and welcome to Dentrix Does It. In this video, I'll show you how to set up custom navigation scripts within your Perio chart. Before we begin setting up a script of our own, I always like to have a plan. So let me present to you what my plan is for my script. Part 1 of my script will begin with the facial side of the mouth, from tooth 1 to 16, in a left to right pattern. Part 2 will then probe the lingual side of the mouth, from tooth 16 to 1, in a right to left pattern. Part 3 will probe the facial side of the mouth, from tooth 32 to 17, in a left to right pattern. And finally, part 4 will probe the lingual side of the mouth, from tooth 17 back to 32, moving from right to left. Having a plan as we go into the setup window is very important, and you'll see how this makes it so much simpler as we go right now into the setup window. So here in the Perio chart, click Setup, Entry, Settings, Setup. I'm going to click Add to create my own. I'll name my script. I'll choose here in the top right corner if I would like it to automatically calculate certain numbers. The clinical attachment level, or recession, can be figured by adding the probing depth and the gingival margin if I choose to enter both of those values. And that will be fine. I'll go ahead and accept that. And now here's where I reference my drawing from earlier. Part number one of my drawing is going to become line number one of my perio script. I'll choose what I'm charting here, which is probing depth. I'm moving in a forward motion, or left to right. As you'd read a book from left to right, that's forward in the terminology of Perio. I'm checking the facial side of the mouth, and I'm beginning with tooth number one and moving to tooth 16. And then click Add. The second line of my script is a backward motion from right to left. It's checking the lingual side of the mouth, and it is moving from 16 to 1 and click Add. The third part of my script is moving in a forward or left to right motion, checking the facial side of the mouth with tooth 32 through 17 being the probing direction. Click Add. And then finally, the fourth line of part four of my script was probing depth moving backward or right to left lingual and 17 through 32. Be sure to click add on that last line. Some people forget and find they have to go back in here and add that last line again. Now I'll click OK. Uh, my script is part of this. Click OK. I could now pull this menu down, choose the script, and this station will remember that script until I change it again. At this point, I'm able to enter probing depths, and just for the sake of time, I'll enter some numbers quickly to make sure that it moves in the correct direction. And notice it skipped over tooth 1, 4, and 16. And 32 is also skipped. And 17 is also skipped. That's because those are missing teeth, or they're part of a bridge. In fact, let me show you that back in Setup and Entry Settings Setup. Here on the left side, you can choose to skip teeth with certain conditions. And if those conditions have been charted within the tooth chart for the patient, that information carries over and you have the flexibility there to choose which of these items to skip. If you click Restore Defaults here at the bottom, it will restore from this left-hand menu at the uh, default options as you see them here. Back here at the right, I like my script. I would like it now to appear on all other computers. And so I click Export to File after, of course, highlighting the script. And it brings up a Save dialog. Now I would want to save this on a place where I can access it from the other computer, such as on a folder on the network, or on a USB thumb drive that I can take and plug into the next computer. I'd save this file. Then I would go to the next computer, open up the Perio chart, open up Setup, Entry Settings Setup, and I would import from file, and I would load that file back in. I'm not going to do that on this computer because it's the same machine. 
that that would cause the script to duplicate onto the next machine. And that's how Dentrix does it. For more tips and training, please visit our online resource center.